What's up guys, how are you all doing today? I'm currently in Kigali, Rwanda. I stopped by over here to just explore the city, see what the city has to offer. I'm currently staying at a place called Yambige's house. I'm headed out to the city now. There's like a place called uh, the, the Genocide Museum. From what I've noticed, I think Rwanda is surrounded with heels, heels and play tools and stuff like that. Hey, what's up? I'm going to um, Kigali Memorial Museum. You, you are going to? Huh? You are going where? Yeah? Museum, a genocide museum. Yeah. Ah, a genocide memorial. Yeah, Chicago yeah. memorial yeah. genocide. Yeah. How much? It's only one thousand. Only one thousand. Yes. I can't get cheaper. <laughs> I should be able to get cheaper now. Yeah. So I'm currently on the bike now. Sorry? No, no, no. I'm talking to my small camera. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is my first time here. Yes, so just got off the bike now. I'm currently at the Kigali Memorial Memorial Center, I think. So we're like in a room now. I think we're going to like watch watch something. And I said that uh, if you want like a listening device, you need to pay twenty five dollars, and if you want to take pictures, you need to pay twenty dollars. Which is a lot. So yeah, so that's like everything inside. It looks really sad and like spooky. Like to think that all of this happened like not so long ago. So I'm currently outside now and I'm walking along the rose garden. I think this is where a lot of mass graves are. And there are like a lot of people here too. Yeah, I'm heading out now. I'm just walking through the gate shortly. I think where I'm gonna go next is the cafe. There's a cafe. I think it's called Java Cafe. They apparently they have like a lot of coffee there. So I want to test out the coffee, you know like drinking coffee. And also it's another wow. opportunity to go around the city. So yeah, we're going there now. One of the first things I noticed about Rwanda it was Rwanda is the cleanest country in Africa. I heard that a lot of times before I traveled to Rwanda, but I had to come there and see it myself. No single dead, you won't see any dead anywhere, no nylons. Plastic bags are actually banned in Rwanda. You can also wear flip-flops up and down. You have to wear covered shoes to cover your toes everywhere you go. Rwanda is the fourth smallest country in Africa. It's not a really big country when you look at it in terms of size. You can get to almost everywhere with a bike. That's one of the cheapest ways to move around the city. I took a bike and I spent 1,000 francs, which is equivalent to $1. Eating and feeding and expenses around Rwanda is also relatively inexpensive. There are also no plastic bags allowed, which I think is also part of their cleanliness level. 
every last Saturday of the month, everybody comes out to clean where they are. That keeps everywhere clean. The cleanliness of this place is insane. The security here is also tight. When I got to the Memorial Museum, my bag was searched. And everywhere you go, even at the airport, the bags, your bags are searched. Everything is searched. You're even going to go through a scanning device that will scan you from up to down. It will also scan your vehicle from up to down. So the security here is really, really tight. There are soldiers and policemen on every checkpoint. So walking around Rwanda at night is probably going to be very, very safe. Apparently, about the genocide issue, I'm sure you've heard a lot about that, but it's amazing to see how they've bounced back. Over a couple years, Rwanda is going fast. No, we are giving five. We are taking three. So that one is going. She is going. If you want to take me, we are giving five. Yeah. So Java House. Yeah, I think we got it correct here this time. So apparently, you can see like a very wide view of the city from here. So I'm trying to get to the top. Let's see what we can get. back to Lagos today. Today marks the end of my journey. My flight is by 9 o'clock, uh, I think in like two hours. So I just need to get ready, get uh, breakfast and get on my way. So yeah, thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey. I'm currently at a place called Yambi Guest House. It's a very affordable guest house in Rwanda. I, I think I found it online, bookings.com. I'm probably going to put a link below. In case you're coming to Rwanda, you can check it out. Let me just give you a quick bureau of Yambi Guest House. My oh my My oh my kiss and so I did See y'all.